I'm Professor Don Pate. Uh, I teach archaeology at Flinders University, and I'm the coordinator of the Bachelor of Archaeology. So I had the passion for studying archaeology, and then decided to do that as my career, and went way back east coast from California to Rhode Island and Massachusetts to Brown University and Harvard University, and started studying archaeology there at master's, PhD, and then I went on to the postdoc. But the interesting thing is that all of my research for that degree was done in Adelaide at the South Australian Museum. Basically what archaeology is, is studying materials that people use and how we can learn about their behavior. So we have legislation in every state and territory that requires any type of archaeological remains to be assessed by a professional if you're going to build a road, do any mining, any disturbance requires that. So it's a huge growth industry. And Flinders is about one of the only programs in Australia that offers that graduate archaeology program that prepares the students for employment. Well, in first year, you will study um, three core topics in the archaeology area. And that just kind of orients you to archaeology. We have an introduction topic, and then a world archaeology topic, a general one, and then a more specific ancient civilizations topic. And in addition to that, you will have three electives from around the university. And there's another choice of either doing human evolution or a topic called Ancient Egypt to the Aztecs. And then the last topic that you would do is a general professional communications topic that most of the students do across the university to assist you with transitioning to a university environment. So second year, we have one core topic called human evolution and that looks all the way back to our African origins. And we have an introduction to the first people of Australia, which is the indigenous archaeology. We also have another one called the archaeology of modern society that allows you to look at archaeology within, you know, the, what does it mean to you as a person living in Australia today. So at third year, we only have two core topics in archaeology. So you would study um, a history of archaeology, which looks at kind of the theory and method. And then the second one is called environmental archaeology. So looking at environmental changes uh, that have affected our behavior. So the remaining six topics, three are electives in archaeology, and three are electives in any other topic across the university or related areas. So you have that system where you can work with the coordinator of the degree and tailor it to your needs, what, what you want to do for your career. After the completion of the standard Bachelor of Archaeology degree, the fourth year is called a Graduate Diploma in Archaeology. And that award prepares you to actually work in archaeology. So things like tendering for consulting jobs. So you learn the business side of doing archaeology. So that's one of the strengths of the Flinders program, is that it takes you right from the beginning, um, where people don't know that much about archaeology, through a process where by the end you have the skills to actually go right into the workforce and that involves a lot of our previous graduates from the degree who are working in those areas and they're the ones that are actually hiring um, the archaeologists these days in Australia. So it's quite an advantage to come to Flinders and we're recognized for that. With all of our industry partners we have work integrated learning uh, opportunities where you get hands-on experience working with people, for example, at the South Australian Museum, uh, the Maritime Museum. We even work with the, the state police here, if you're interested in more of the forensic side. CSIRO, which is the scientific branch of the government, we have placements there. But in addition to that, we have exchange programs all over the world with other universities that allow students to travel and see how archaeology is done elsewhere, and that's quite important. Yeah, if we look at the academic and technical staff at Flinders, that's one of the major strengths of our program, and that we're very large. We're one of the largest archaeology programs in Australia, and we represent the whole range of archaeology. Upon the completion of the Bachelor of Archaeology, a majority of the work is in heritage management. So that would be either working with um, a state government, or a Commonwealth government agency that works with heritage legislation, protection, protecting our heritage. So upon completion of that Bachelor of Archaeology, that one more year, the graduate diploma provides you with 
access to uh, work in that heritage management area.